Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how to reprogram this uh, odometer on the 99-02 to instrument clusters here. Uh, so I'll be taking this board off to get the uh, chip out. I'll also be taking this off and reflowing the back end of it. That has nothing to do with the reprogramming, it's just while I'm in here. I just always go ahead, reflow them, uh, fix the uh, crappy solder joints by the resistors on this side. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this board off. It's 64 pins to take it off, uh, so this will be fun. So that's all there is really to removing those two boards. It's uh, 64 pins here, and then you get a couple over here. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is the uh, where the resistors have the uh, solder problems. See if I can get it to focus. Eh, uh, doesn't look like the camera's gonna cooperate. There we go. Uh, we got a little bit of focus in there, but yeah, right, right there you can see that one's definitely about the to crack. So uh, th this will get reflowed. Uh, I've already showed this one in another video, so won't be showing that in here. And this, we'll be taking the EEPROM off it, just like I do the newer ones, where uh, this uh, EEPROM comes right off, and then I uh, uh, reprogram it on the computer. So uh, let me go ahead and take care of this, and then I'll get back to recording this. Okay, so I've got the uh, screen back together, got it back on there, uh, and now I'm going to get this EEPROM off here, put a little... Uh, Chip, chip quick uh, flux on there before I grab the camera. Alright, let's go ahead and get the hot air station. Alright. Got the uh, device of much gravity here holding it steady for me. Uh, it's the uh, EEPROM, just to remember your direction it goes on there. Uh, so, uh, let me look at this here, make sure I don't lie to you. So, uh, it's going to read the same direction as this. It's just the easiest way to remember it, so pin one's up here. So. And there we go. Right off the board. Yeah, when you're, uh, if you're new to using a hot air station, uh, when you're heating it up, um, start start a little bit further away, work your way in, so that way you don't start uh, bubbling the board, uh, and separating the layers. And then the other thing is, is uh, it really shouldn't take much, to, really any force at all to remove the chip. So if you uh, feel any resistance, just keep heating it up a little bit longer, so that way you don't uh, rip a pad off. Uh, pretty simple to get off, so let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, flux off this chip, so that way... Let's make sure I don't suck it into the hacko there. Um, that way I make sure I get a good connection on there. Sometimes you, you won't uh, you know, uh, get a good read uh, with the... Um, or it's, it's normally not a problem with reading it, it's normally a problem with writing it uh, with the uh, flux on there. So, yeah, just make sure we get all the flux off. It would be capacitive uh, against the legs if uh, you don't get it all off. 
and then we'll put it in the chip reader. You've uh, you've all probably seen my rig. It's just uh, this guy right here. I won't show you. Just you just drop it in. It's a little socket. So uh, you'll see me on the screen here in just a second. Here we have it in the prom reader right here, the Mini Pro. I went ahead and just device read. Let's we'll go ahead and run that again. And yep, finished read, and there we go, we get the same read. Uh, these don't store nearly as much data on them as the newer, the 2003 ops. Um, I think the VIN's not on here or anything. At least, it's, uh, maybe the VIN's on here encrypted, I don't know. But uh, yeah, up here is going to be your mileage, so it's stored on there three times for redundancy. Uh, I'm setting it to roughly 85,000 miles. It's stored on here in kilometers, so it's, uh, I just use Google to convert the uh, miles into kilometers because I'm not good at math and there we go let's go ahead and put this in so 0298 uh, pretty sure this one right here is the um, trip I don't know I'm not sure I just leave them alone uh, all right 0298 Two, nine, eight, and that should be it. Yep, that's all of them. Um, in the software, it says you can change the hours. Um, I haven't seen a way to get the screen to display the hours on here. Maybe it's just I'm ignorant on it. Just don't know how. Uh, so I've never changed the hours on this one because uh, I just I've never seen it be able to display. So let's go ahead and write this. Hopefully we have a good connection and it'll program our first try. There we go, successful write. So that is now written on there. And let's go ahead and pull it off and put it back on the board. Then solder back on the 64 pins and then that'll be it. Okay, so before I start soldering this back on, let's go ahead and clean off the old solder and try to get that conformal coating out of the way to make sure we get a good connection. Okay, so we've cleaned the pins off. I'm using the wrong tip here, so let me change my tip and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright. I like to use the uh, bent tip here. This is uh, uh, the uh, C210 002. I believe these are actually made for the hot tweezers. Uh, I don't have the hot tweezers, but I ended up with some of these. They work great as a bent tip, so that's what I use them for. Go ahead and put down some fresh flux. And we want pin one this direction. See if I can get this thing to cooperate. There we go. Okay, find the thin, yeah, there we go, thin roll of solder. And of course I push it with the solder gun and now it's off. There we go, that's about perfect. You know, I go for the opposite corner here. Okay, I just cleaned the um, flux off the board off camera, and let's get this guy soldered in. Let's go with this shoot. Yeah, definitely still disgruntled about myself uh, being an idiot and buying the wrong size uh, roll of um, solder here, but uh, it'll work.
Okay, so I got it soldered back on. Uh, let's uh, power it up and check it out. I had to stop recording because I noticed my cable fell off. I had to screw it back in, but here we go. Let's give it a test. Test. And we have 85.77. So yeah, or 17. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's not perfect. Uh, it's just within 25 miles. So happy there. Uh, let's see here. And trip set to zero. Um, let's go ahead and let me show you something real quick. Uh, let me get set up though, I forgot to set it up. <sighs> Alright, I gotta hook up the, um, show you how to get the trip to work again after you program these though. Let me turn the, that's off, uh, that's the last noise now. Move this guy out of the way. Hook up the signal generator, so... Move this back plate out of the way. Alright, uh, that should be speedo. Yeah, I know I don't have it hooked up, but, um, so you won't be able to see it, but let's go ahead and put it to trip. And, they're going pretty fast. Yep, so, we're now putting, uh, some mileage on there. You gotta get it up to, like, three tenths. Alright, then just reset it and then um, let it keep rolling. If you don't do this, uh, what'll happen is it'll just reset to zero every single time you turn off the uh, truck. So let's just get it up to like half a mile. All right, we got half a mile. We'll go ahead and turn it off. And let's make sure it kept that. <laughs> go ahead and just disconnect the signal generator here and yep there we go trips working so that's all there is to it you just got to put some miles on. you don't have to do it how I just did it you can just put it back in the truck drive it around a little bit and that's all you have to do to get the trip to work again after you uh, reprogram the mileage on these the uh, last video I did on reprogramming these was a pretty popular video so that's why I did this one uh, but uh, here you guys go, you can see this one all back together, and Speedo, Taco working, and then uh, we got uh, Fuel working, and what else do we mess with here, and then Coolant, eh. so uh, it's a little touchy with this one, I should have used a better potentiometer on the uh, the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, that's just the potentiometer I used on my, uh, workbench up here that's making it jump around so much. Uh, this guy doesn't have any jittery, uh, needles in here. I took them out and fixed them already. And oil pressure will just do that. Um, see if I remember right, your oil pressure. Yep, there you go. Short it to ground, and that'll put you at zero. So, yep, everything's working. So, uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of content. And, uh... I will continue to make videos. Uh, hope you guys uh, subscribe so I can see you in future videos. And I will see you next time.